Gave my poems back to me and said, these are okay, man, but there's a bitterness in them. Bitterness won't get you anywhere in life. Okay, I said, thanks. It's simple, he said. You get out of life what you put into it. Everybody gets exactly what they deserve, see? I didn't find that notion particularly plausible or comforting, but I let him go on. Life's a game, he said. You either get rich or you eat shit and die. It's as simple as that. I never thought of it in exactly that way, but I figured he must know something because he was 29 years old, he edited a magazine, and he had a pretty wife and a big house in Mexico. I came from nothing, he said. I used to starve in little rooms for years, living on tap water and stale bread. But I worked, man, I worked around the clock. Look at me now, I'm gonna blow up real soon. And I wasn't quite sure if blowing up meant becoming really famous or going on a killing spree, but I'm assuming he meant the former. When I blow up, he continued, I'm not gonna be greedy about it. I just wanna inspire people and piss off my haters. Use their energy to fuel my greatness. I'll be free while they work their shitty $20 an hour jobs for the rest of their lives. I wanted to ask him about those $20 an hour jobs and how I might get one, but he went on. Anyway, he said, poetry isn't the way to go. It doesn't pay and the only way you're gonna get famous is if you rap it, you know, hip hop style. Well, I thought, shit. Me, he said, I get paid 40 cents a word for writing bullshit. Memoirs, restaurant reviews, anything but poetry, man. You just need to learn how things work. But don't worry, man, you can make it too. You just gotta work every day. You gotta write at least 2,000 words every day. Well, it was four o'clock on a Sunday, and all I'd accomplished so far was drink four cups of coffee, fuck around on Facebook, and take a bath. Real writers, he said, they figure out the way things work. And they ride all day and all night until they blow up. I thought about the writers I knew, and I don't think many of them understood much about the way things worked. Most of them spent as much time in bars and jails and nut houses as they did writing. But I guess they weren't the real writers he was talking about. They didn't get paid 40 cents a word, and I guess most of them would eventually just up, end up eating shit and dying. But they were beautiful in their way and they had strange light in their eyes and sometimes said wise and funny things that helped me through the lonely hours. Anyway, he said, I've wasted enough time with you. I'm gonna go get some real writing done. If you're smart, you'll do the same. So I had a beer and a bath and I pondered things a bit and thinking about how it all worked just made me tired. So I took a nap and when I got up, I wrote another poem.